Good evening. Good evening. Everyone is awake today. Wonderful. Uh, so today we're talking about suffering. I hope that the children uh, maybe have a little bit less experience with this than some of us. Looking at you, Kai. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so today we're talking about suffering and liberation. Uh, not artificial intelligence today. As the beloved spiritual teacher Ram Das often reminded us, we are often all walking each other home to the truth of our boundless and interconnected being. The Buddha taught us that life inevitably contains what he called dukkha. This means stress, dissatisfaction, sorrow, and pain. From the moment we're born, we experience the suffering of having a body that gets sick, ages, and dies. We endure the mental anguish of not getting what we want and having to face what we don't want. Even our happiest moments are tinged with the poignancy of their impermanence. And yet, great spiritual teachers remind us that while pain is unavoidable, we create additional suffering through our resistance, attachment, and delusion. When difficulties arise, we often get stuck in the narratives of, why me? It shouldn't be this way. And waging war with the reality of what is. This struggle only amplifies our distress. But what happens if we take the radical choice to turn toward our suffering with open and caring awareness? This is the essence of mindfulness practice, learning to be present with what is without judgment or agenda. When we bring a kind of kind and spacious attention to our own fears, sorrows, and struggles, we may start to see them in a new light. We discover that we are not our pain, our thoughts, or our circumstances. We are the boundless awareness in which those experiences arise and dissolve, like waves on the vast ocean. This experience in perspective can be life-changing. When we reconnect with the timeless essence of our being, we tap into a source of wisdom, compassion, and inner freedom that is not dependent on other conditions. We begin to relate to ourselves, others, and the world with greater understanding, patience, and care. We discover a joy and lightness of being that shines through even in the darkest times. Of course, this is not always an easy path. It takes courage, practice, and a willingness to let go of our familiar patterns and identities. But we are already all inherently free, whole, and complete. We just need to remember and awaken to that truth. And we don't have to do it alone. We are all interconnected in this dance of life, and every act of kindness, authenticity, and presence ripples out to touch countless other hearts and minds. So I invite you to join me in embracing both the suffering and the joy of this human incarnation. Let us hold each other and ourselves with great compassion, celebrating the preciousness of this fleeting life. Let us dance in the fire of our own transformation, trusting in the unshakable peace that is our true home. And I'd like to close by saying a Buddhist uh, blessing, which is, May we all recognize our shared humanity, our shared suffering, and our shared capacity for freedom. May we hold each other and ourselves with great compassion, remembering the vastness of our true nature. May we celebrate the joy and play of this remarkable existence. And may we all awaken to the boundless love and awareness that is our deepest essence. And thank you for listening. And may we all walk each other home.